Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get Keiji's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I... got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good Spectre. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. 
Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. Remember you? Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. Benazio was, um, was her mother. You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she never even met me. Sorry, if you were human, you'd both be called the mother, regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Benezia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a boyfriend who used to work for Cerberus. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now, I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Benezia and... Well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. That's not gonna happen. No argument here. I only took these crap jobs to keep the matriarchs happy that she's under control. Just as long as we're clear, nobody messes with my girl. <laughs> Maybe you're good enough for her after all. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. You know? I'm a very good information broker. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Liara... Oh, fine. Come on. Can't blame the matriarchs for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. Mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And... You bugged my office on Ilium. That'd be the logical conclusion. Yeah. Connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. 
When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Oh, 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 yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Matriarchs aren't going to do anything to you, especially in the middle of this damn war. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on, you know how Asari work, infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces, that's... I know, about as useful as tits on a Hanar. Good thing we've got the Turians and the Krogan to do the heavy lifting. Our people just aren't built for the front ranks. talking about Crete, blood pack's leader aria brings him the great commander shepherd Crete pledges the gang to her we're just luring him into the open so we can take him out not the best start to our friendship narl he's coming put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like i beat you up or something this better be on the up and up quiet to look even more powerful than Creek thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creek. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Quill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. <laughs> Krogan. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, that makes you a quarter Krogan. That's not how it works. 
I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Don't tell me how a sorry reproduction works. Wait. I have a half-sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let us off. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer? And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. Christophe Vasser, good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. Today, my brothers and sisters, we have faced adversity and overcome. This is but a test. Remember the pillars of strength that hold our people high. Show the galaxy our resolve. I know that your faith is weak. Our government has fallen, but if you hold the pillars of strength in your hearts, please, just don't give up. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. 
Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Saying, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Araka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Araka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else... Why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. Shepard, the Council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Talok, of all people, got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please One wait. moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Okay. First deployment is somewhere near Palavan. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So, how am I supposed to talk with you then? Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please.
arriving at Presidium Commons. I guess it doesn't matter how I do it. I just need to tell him about us. Wait. Us? You and me. He doesn't need to know that. Wouldn't it be better for him to just know that you'd grown apart? I thought I was supposed to be honest with him. You are. But you're just being tactful, not rubbing it in. All I'm saying is, if you feel the urge to headbutt something, it's genetic. I have never wanted to headbutt anything. Really? Not even a little bit? Come on. I do not headbutt people. All right, fine. Don't go all blood rage on me. Or what? You'll tell the other matriarchs to order a hit. Hey, that's not gonna happen. Commander Shepard. General Araka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes, neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now, reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the security board. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Nazi and I were together for more than a century. You loved her? Of course I loved her. She was so smart. Always thinking. Nice, too. Hell of a lot nicer than I am. And damn that rack. I mean, even before she hit the matriarch stage. You don't need to tell me everything.
Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Yes, his squad did reach them. Wow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What, if I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. What I need is appears to be the same that attacked those planets. But those assumptions merely leave my hunt stranded in enemy territory. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Bao, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar, recently. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? No. And I owe you for getting KG's gray box back from Hawk. But I can't do another collector base, Shep. The Reapers aren't people. I can't infiltrate a Reaper party and steal a big I win bomb. Asari Intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Salian Nebula and the Nimbus Cluster. Lyon is on Earth, a beautiful city. You should visit. I, I was on my boat when, boom, the sky went black. Dust and ash. A giant metal wall rushed down. I fell into the river. These humans ever stop talking? When I climbed out, I heard screaming. The metal wall started to move and I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I'm touched. The invading force appears to be the same in attacking those planets. According to the Council, these galaxy wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. The Council called the invaders Reapers. Bow. Here's the correspondence. If there's any mention... I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Sole name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Yes, I have spoken to you before. Why do you refuse to help me? Believe me. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. 
Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big, stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. <laughs> you may be delayed. Help him. I'll handle this. Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor, with a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No. But you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. According to... Commander, thank you. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Commander. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. 
Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Commander. Nothing to report. I'm glad the Commander didn't forget about us down here. I told you Shepard would come visit.